Well, today, the U.S. imposing even more new sanctions against Russia, working to crack down on attempts by the country's richest and most powerful to avoid penalties that have already made life difficult for most ordinary Russians. News Nation Washington correspondent Kelly Meyer shows us who and specifically what is being targeted now. On the eve of the 100th day of war, President Biden today rolling out a new wave of sanctions against Russia in yet another attempt to deter President Putin from inflicting more suffering on Ukraine. Facing the brunt of the punishment this time, the Russian elite filling Putin's inner circle along with their toys. The White House directing three U.S. agencies to target various Russian government officials, business leaders and their assets blocking the use of two ships used by the Russian president from the Russian flagged Graceful and the Cayman Islands flagged Olympia. Putin taking trips on the yachts, including one in the Black Sea with the Belarusian president last year. The Department of Treasury flagging a company known as Imperial Yachts and its Russian CEO for providing services to Putin's posse. The latest Russian oligarchs making the list, Alexei Mordashov, one of Russia's wealthiest billionaires and the main shareholder of Severstal, Russia's largest steel and mining company. And Sergei Raldugin, a cellist and close friend of Putin's, the U.S. says acts as a middleman for the Russian leader. And at a certain point, they'll say to Putin or people around Putin, you know, look, we're, we're losing too much. This has to stop. Um, I think it'll be difficult from the outside to observe whether that's actually happening. NATO Secretary General at the White House today stressing the importance of preventing the war from escalating. We need to be prepared for long haul. The new actions come as the European Union today moved to sanction Russian oil and its biggest bank, a move that officials say will reduce Russia's capacity to finance its war. The U.S. and allies have imposed what they call unprecedented sanctions since the February 24th invasion. But the sanctions have yet to bring Putin's war machine to a halt. Kelly Meyer, News Nation. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.